Hello everyone and welcome to another lesson. It's Amar with you today. I uh, hope you guys are doing great. Uh, so there has been some requests about a TikTok scraper. So today I decided I'll show you what I've done today with this scraper and what types of results that we get. Uh, I think it will be very beneficial for you guys and you will love it, okay? So let us jump right in and uh, first uh, the thing that I'm wanting to do is I want to test this scraper <clears throat> but before I do I want to show you some of the building blocks of this one. Uh, so this scraper uh, starts with a uh, form submission so there's a form here that gets information about the keyword and the number of results. So the user gives in what they want to search for and how many results they want to have. Then we do a scrape uh, request from Appify. So I'm using this scraper right here. So it's called uh, the TikTok scraper and it, it's paper event. Here you can specify a hashtag or you can speci specify a search query, for example. And you can sort by top videos. Uh, so in the uh, you can you can download the you can include the videos and the thumbnail if you want to download them and keep them uh, for your reference. <coughs> There's also a lot of other options as well. Of course, make sure you take the uh, the JSON so you can plug it right in. All right. So back to the workflow here. Inside of this scraper, we see that we put in the API endpoint and we can take that from here. If we go to API, API endpoint, you would want to take the uh, the one that runs synchronously and gets data set because this does two things in one go. So it first waits for the results to uh, to be done and then gets the results for you in one step. So you always want to copy this one. And then no need for authentication because they will put the uh, the token at the end of the uh, URL. Uh, so we go down here, we need to send a, because it's a post, we need to send a body request. And here we specify what we want. So how many results will take it from the form and what is the query, we will also take it from the form. So after we get the results, we want to sort them by play count, so the number of views. I have also this code node here that basically what it does is uh, it just fixes the hashtag that comes from this request. So this request gives us the has hashtags as an uh, object array and within each object we have a text. So this uh, code node just basically uh, fixes that so we have a string of hashtags ready for us to use. We will then add them back to our database, which reminds me to show you the database. So here's the database we have. So we have the keyword, title, link, and date. And then the author information, we have author, profile, link, followers, and number of videos. We have also the video uh, related fields. So video duration, video link, video cover, number of comment, number of shares, number of plays, number of likes hashtags, and then the last one is reasons, which is the uh, the AI agent bit of this scraper. So this AI agent is powered by DeepSeek and what it does, it basically will tell it you will get series of data and your task to give us reasons why this video was successful. And then we will update the analysis, the update the sheet again with the analysis. All right, so we're putting also a structured parser because we only want reasons for success. So that's a the agent here for us, uh, the scraper. So I want to test this scraper with you and see what types of results that we get from this one. To do so, I'm going to test this one. Let us start. So I'm going to test workflow. Pop-up will appear on my second screen. So I'm going to write AI agent and I'm going to specify 10 results. So I'm going to let this run. As you can see, it started running. So here we see the results are AI agent and uh, number of results 10. And here it's scraping Appify.
Okay, I need to refresh my, uh, I forgot to refresh my token here. So uh, I'm gonna refresh my token in a bit. Done, I refreshed my token and I'm gonna hit run again. So AI agent and I want 10 results. So I'm gonna submit again and I'm going to see this work uh, scraping the results. So if you're wondering about costs, this, this costs very, the costs are very low. Uh, as you can see in the scraper here. So it's per event. Uh, and it, it, it gives like per thousand events, right? Uh, so here we can see it's, uh, it proceeded, it, it ran. So it gave us here, it, it sorted the results based on the, um, here you can see all the results based on the number of views. And here it basically gave us the hashtags as, um, as you can see here, below, I think it is very, So as you can see here, the hashtags, it gave us this list of hashtags. And then it added them to the, uh, to the database and we can already see them here. There you go. So the first one is a test one. We can delete that. And here you can see all of the, uh, so the keyword, we have the AI agents keyword and the title for each video here. We'll have the link for the video itself and we will have the date, the author, the profile of the author, and uh, we have all of these information here, the followers, the number of videos, and also we can see the, um, let me see, this is finished yet? No, it's not finished yet, so, We'll still wait for the reasoning. So here we can see the videos. If we click on this one, for example. Okay, ChatGPT agent, if okay. you're so good. There you go. We'll have the video. We have the cover as well. There. There you go, cover. Number of comment, number of shares, number of plays, the hashtags in the way that we set up the code note to be. So this is how it gave us the hashtags. Now the last bit is the AI agent bit. It's now thinking and doing the process. Uh, I will pause for a bit until it finishes. All right, so now it's done. As you can see, uh, it created all of the responses and as you can see here you can uh, reasons for success it gave us all the reasons and it updated our sheet based on the uh, link value that we have so let's go back to here so if we go back to our sheet we can see here the reasons field is populated and here we can see it gave us uh, reasons why this video is successful because it gave us a uh, 23 seconds duration for example terms credibility of the creator strong cta tag a dev friend uh, here it gave us a strategy mix of trending uh, hashtags so it gave us a reasoning for each and every one that we have in here so as you can see this now list is is only 10 because I specified 10 in the form that I've submitted, but you can have more. Uh, you can even use those hashtags in uh, future videos that if you want to create them or if you want to find trend, trends inside of TikTok. All right, so that was the video. Uh, that was the scraper for you guys. Uh, in case you like this video, please give it a like, subscribe for more videos. I'm gonna export this one uh, 
for you guys i'm going to download it and of course it will be available inside of my school community alongside other 60 plus workflows that are uh, available for you to use resell or, or train with okay there are also lots of courses inside of my school community there is beginners courses intermediate courses lots of workflows and documentations for you to go through uh, i would love to have you there uh, if you have any questions just post them over there i'm i'm available for you guys to help you in with your ai journey all right, I'm going to see you in the next one.